Greetings Fort Deport fans, Taylor Moyer here. November is Native American Heritage Month. And when we think about Native Americans, we probably think about teepees and feathered headdresses. And what we're gonna find out here is in Northwest Ohio, the Native people, they don't look like what you see in Hollywood movies. They were a rich cultural group all of their own. They had traditions and practices that were very unique and different from the Native Americans that were out in the plains, out west. Today on Fort Deport Histories, we're gonna take a closer look at the Native Americans of the Maumee River Valley. American Indian is a term applied to a person descended from the original inhabitants of the land that is now the continental United States of America. Christopher Columbus encountered the Americas and brought news of his explorations to Europe in 1492. He named the people whom he met Indians, believing that he had reached India. Columbus, eh, he was mistaken. But his name for the American Indians continued to be used. Like the Europeans, American Indians migrated to the Americas and northwestern Ohio. Historians, archaeologists, and anthropologists debate exactly how and when these people arrived, but most scholars believe the American Indians migrated across the Bering Land Bridge, Beringia, now the Bering Sea between 20,000 and 10,000 BC, or between 12,000 and 22,000 years ago. The American Indians evolved culturally, socially, economically, and politically upon arriving in the Americas. Historians, archeologists, and anthropologists generally divide the history of American Indians in Ohio into five time periods. These time periods are the Paleo-Indian period, the Archaic period, the Woodland period, the late prehistoric period, and the historic period. During the Paleo-Indian period, American Indians began to arrive in Ohio. They were hunters and gatherers, and they hunted now extinct animals, including mammoths. During the Archaic period, American Indians hunted animals similar to ones that exist today and spent more time gathering wild plant foods, such as nuts. They also lived in much smaller territories than earlier groups. During the Woodland period, American Indians continued to rely on hunting and gathering, but agriculture also became increasingly important to the natives. In Ohio, groups such as the Adena, and Hopewell began to create earthworks. In most cases, these earthen structures were for burials or for religious ceremonies. Every county in Northwest Ohio has ancient mounds, except for Henry County. Examples include the five burial mounds on Nettles Lake in Williams County and mounds located in Winnemeg near Delta, Ohio. The late prehistoric American Indians saw the gradual decline of earthwork building tribes. Most American Indians, including those in Ohio, continued to hunt and gather, as well as engage in agriculture. The natives' most important crops were maize, beans, and squash. The historic American Indians saw the arrival of the French on the Maumee River in 1671, followed by the Europeans. At that time, the main tribes living along the Maumee River were the Odawa, now known as the Ottawa, and the Miami, or Miami. Village sites would have dotted the Northwest Ohio landscape by the 1700s, and today, many modern cities and towns are built on former native village sites. Some locations include the southern bank of the Maumee River in Toledo, village sites in and around Waterville and Grand Rapids, Damascus, Napoleon, Florida, Defiance, and Fort Wayne, Indiana. Initially, the American Indians and Europeans engaged in the fur trade. American Indians received guns, copper, tin, and iron cookware, and other desirable items from both the French and the British, including textiles, beads, blankets, and more. Trading posts were common throughout the Great Black Swamp, especially in the Defiance and Sandusky area. In return, the American Indians provided the whites with animal furs, which Europeans desired. The natives also introduced the whites to the vast network of long-established trade routes between various American Indian nations. In time, wars took place between the tribes and the Europeans, especially as white settlers began moving onto the natives' land. In 
In the case of Ohio, tensions originated during the 1750s with the French and Indian War. For the next 60 years, the American Indians and Europeans struggled over what is now modern-day Ohio. With several significant victories over the Americans, General Anthony Wayne was called in to put down the Indian resistance once and for all in the Northwest Territory. The Battle of Fallen Timbers was the culmination of the Northwest Indian Wars as American Indian tribes attempted to thwart American settlers from encroaching on the lands in the Ohio country. The natives lost at the Battle of Fallen Timbers on August 20th of 1794 led to native leaders of many tribes negotiating and signing the Treaty of Greenville in 1795, through which they relinquished much of their land to the federal government and were forced to relocate to northwestern Ohio. However, the treaty did not subdue tensions between American Indians and the settlers, and tribal leaders continued to fight to regain their lost land. Bloodshed dominated the region for the next 20 years as settlers and American Indians struggled for control. In the early 19th century, thousands of American Indian peoples from the Ohio country and the Great Lakes region joined Tecumseh or Tecumseh at Prophetstown, Indiana, where they were building a new Indian alliance as a united force to stop the sale of Indian lands. Together, Tecumseh and his brother, Tanska Atawa, would become powerful leaders during the War of 1812 in both Northwest Ohio and the Northwest Territory. With the conclusion of the War of 1812 and the death of the Shawnee leader Tecumseh, most American Indian resistance in Ohio came to an end. Tragically, in 1830, the Indian Removal Act became the law of the land, signed by President of the United States, Andrew Jackson. The act moved all native people in the east, west, of the Mississippi River to reservations. In 1843, the last American Indian tribe left Ohio for land west of the Mississippi River. Hundreds of tribes of American Indians have lived in North America. The United States government in 2005 recognized 593 different tribes within the United States. Numerous tribal groups have either lived in Ohio or claimed land in the state. Among the historic Indian tribes occupying or claiming land in Ohio were the Shawnee, the Chippewa, the Ojibwa, the Delaware, the Wyandot, the Owl River, the Kaskaskia, the Iroquois, the Miami, the Munsee, the Seneca Cayuga, the Ottawa, the Pinkashaw, the Sauk, the Potawatomi, the Seneca, and the Wea. For additional information on the specific tribes that occupied Ohio, please check out the Ohio History Connections website or contact the local historical society in your respective county. You can also leave a comment on this video. With November being Native American Heritage Month, it's important to pause, reflect, and look back on the history of Natives here in Northwest Ohio. This was once their land, and today we call it home. But at one time, they called it home. And with that, it's always important to look back on history so we can learn a little bit from it and certainly not repeat it. For Fort Deport Histories, I'm Taylor Moyer. Make sure you like, subscribe, and do all that kind of stuff everybody wants you to do on the internet. And as always, we hope to see you coming back. Thank you.